Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about making your way through the web jungle. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how can I find my way through the jungle of web development technologies? There are so many options. Well, I'm going to suggest that you start, you pick an arbitrary leaf in the jungle and start pulling on that or thread. Thread is probably better than leaf. Trying to make it funny about the jungle thing didn't really work. Let's go with thread. Pull on a thread. Pick on it. Pick literally any thread and start pulling on it and see how far you get in from that corner of the jungle, because it is a jungle. There are so many options and you can you, you can forget about learning them all. It's not going to happen and you're going to have to make some bets. And I know that's not very fun because humans want to have absolute certainty. Well, they want that until they feel like they have a secure life position and then things get really boring and you, I don't know, cheat on your wife or husband or try to fuck things up again because it's too boring. Uh, and the same, or you start a bar on the beach that can, can also work. Uh, but usually when you're in a time of a lot of uncertainty, uh, you want to know exactly what's going to happen. And that's usually the case when you are uh, inexperienced or you're new to something because there's so much going on that you just want to be able to say, yeah, this is definitely the best, the best investment for me. It's guaranteed to work for me. And that's why all these uh, tech courses and all these boot camps and uh, all this stuff is working so well because they, they understand that the thing that they need to do is to make you feel as if they have the answer to that question. That is the thing that goes over well. Because if I can, ex if I can, as a content creator or a person giving advice or whatever, even if I'm hiring, if I can convince you when you're in the stage where you don't really know how everything works, uh, that I have the answer that will give, soothe that fear you have, because it is fear. You are afraid that you will make the wrong investment. You are afraid that you will put your time into something and then not get a job or all of these sorts of things. Uh, if I can exploit that, I can control you because I know you're afraid. And I know that all I have to do to get you to pay me is to convince you that if you just do my thing, I'm guarantee I, I can guarantee you that you will that you will survive or you will make it. You will. Uh, there will be a lifeboat for you, I promise you. And uh, the thing I'm here to tell you is that the only real way you know if you're betting on the right thing or not is to go to the job postings. That's the only thing you can do. If you go to the internet first and you go and look at boot camps first, you will have no way of knowing if it's going to be relevant to you or not. The thing that is important is for you to understand the ecosystem that you find yourself in. It's very similar to starting your own shop, I would say, in many ways. If you are a person, I can, I have some people in my life who did this and it went absolutely horribly. If you, st if you have a mental picture of yourself owning a shop and you set up a shop selling something that you really find enjoyable, that's good for you. But it's not go it might not make you all that much money if you don't understand what you're selling I mean if okay for a really stupid analogy if you're gonna sell ice cream um, to an Eskimo yeah it might not be the best business model in the world or ice to an Eskimo or if you're gonna send uh, sell sand in the middle of the desert like you need to know the ecosystem you need to understand what's gonna make you money because ultimately that is what the business is there to do it needs to make money and you need to find out if your your idea of how to do that is going to be a feasible strategy for you. The same thing goes for software investments. If you're going to learn a, if you're going to take a career as a software developer, considering that there are so many options, the best thing for you is to figure out what are the requirements on being a software developer in your region. What tools are they looking for? What level of skill are they looking for? <clears throat> because once you know that you know what good options will be for you to invest in and if you don't really ca if you don't already have a preference and you really as this person is asking just trying to ma navigate the jungle that is your roadmap right there that's your beacon just have a look at the ta the uh, the tool lists of some companies that seem that you might want to work at 
and start working on acquiring those skills because that is the, the, there, there, there you have hard facts and this is something that uh, a lot of uh, a lot of different content creators and uh, people selling courses and so forth may or may not tell you about because I mean technically varying uh, v v different regions have different requirements it's just that if uh, when I'm creating a course for something I don't know let's say Ruby well Ruby is a really popular choice in some parts of the world but if you are in the wrong part of the world it's practically not used PHP is a similar sort of thing and I mean you can say the thing like Java versus C sharp is there's a lot of people ask me about Java and C sharp and I go well globally these are very good choices but if you don't take the time to actually look at your personal environment like where you are in your your region then you're you're just you're basically just trusting that I know everything or that my word is somehow universally true and I think that that is not, it's really I mean take your future a little bit seriously dude like do some homework don't just don't just listen to some random stranger on the internet so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to navigate the jungle of web development take a look at the job postings in your region and just start somewhere it is not important for you to know every single thing in the world and I know that that is not what you want to hear because you want to have a guarantee you want a receipt that proves that oh yeah for if I just do this magical one thing everything's gonna work out you're gonna have that perfect job you're gonna work at Google you're going to do this and that and so forth and you're ju everything's just gonna work out and you're gonna be a massive success and that's not gonna happen I can promise you that it, it does. It, it, that is not the way the world works. You're going to have to make a bet, and you're not going to be able to predict the future, and that sucks. But the closest thing you can get to feeling, uh, to to feeling as you know the future, or to feeling that you're making a very good investment, is do a little bit of market research. It's the same thing when starting a company. That's why starting a company is a scary thing it's a big risk you're investing a lot of money and this time it's gonna be money and time well technically that's the true for companies as well you're gonna invest let's just say that you're gonna invest a lot into this thing and now you want to know that it's gonna be a guaranteed success but that's not how it works that's not how the real world works but you can be confident that it will work at least uh, for you it's as simple mostly as going to the job postings and looking at what's out there and picking the right stack for your region and by just doing that simple thing you now have your start position and now you need to run the race and run through the gauntlet and I promise you there are many experienced developers out there who will be able to give you hints and tips and tricks on th things that hurdles that you will face when you get a little bit further into your career but start there your first starting point needs to be what is relevant for your region have a great day